So basically the position we're going to start working is, I call it the cross guard, a lot of people used to call it that. There's two main variations. One will be when we're on the ground like this, so I have an underhook on his leg and a cross sleeve grip, right? So here I want to keep my leg inside of his elbow space, here. So if he can pull his elbow really tight and get in here, it's hard for me to have any attack threat, right? Because his elbow's blocking me out from the omoplata, right? So having this cross grip, I can kind of pull out this way and that'll open his elbow a bit, right? So pull your elbow back. You see, he'll be able to pull it back a bit, but my leg can always stay in, right? And from here, we have a lot of different attack options, right? We can go for like an omoplata. Um, we can shoot for a triangle here. If he holds my pants with his left hand, I guess sometimes you can come up here, catch this, and this will either become an arm bar, or I can come back this way and hit an omoplata. So there's a lot of threats here with this stuff. Um, then the other variation of this will be when they're standing, right? So I'm gonna stand up. So this can come about a lot of different ways. If you're like, if you have a lasso or a collar sleeve and like you unlasso and go in here to chase the omoplata, if he postures up a lot or something, it's difficult. I can always switch to the cross sleeve here, under a hook, and now I start coming in here. Okay, and there's a lot more variations when the guy's standing. I can still go for the omoplata. Look up. If he postures uh, up a lot, I can come underneath here to like X and start bumping him out and working for stuff from here. You can turn this into like the ankle lock from here, right? And start going that way. Um, here, uh, if he postures up a lot, you can start rotating through here and stuff like that to get through. There's a lot of possible options you can do with it, okay? So we're just gonna start with the guy on the ground uh, because I think that's a very applicable version. Like, so if you're new and you're, you're a white belt and you don't know how to get into these open guard positions, if you're just in closed guard like this, it's not too hard, like say the guy grabs your lapel or something, you can just break this grip. You already have the cross grip. I usually try to bring him forward a little bit so I can underhook and then I'm just gonna start opening my leg out here. Okay, so that's a very easy way to get to the position. So the first attack we're gonna start with here is I have the cross grip, I'm pulling it open. He's pulling his elbow back a little bit. Okay, is we're just gonna do the omoplata first. So I wanna use the like back of my heel here, like this, just like that area, low calf, heel, right? To kind of clip into his armpit and I'm gonna push his wrist back this way. Okay, for any omoplata, you need the, the hand to go the opposite direction of the elbow, right? If I'm pulling this way, there's no omoplata, right? I need it to go backwards, like that. So we're here like this. I'm just gonna push the wrist back and clip in with the leg. Once I bring him down, I can just gonna sit up and put my arm over the back for now. Okay? So here, right, underhook. Yeah, there's cross grip because it pulls elbow back a little bit. Okay, when we're ready to go, we just push the wrist back this way and we clip our heel that way. We hit here, take him down, sit up, and go arm over the back. Okay, so we're just gonna start with that and then we build off that. All right, let's do it. Um, so real quick, just under, uh, I was talking to someone yesterday, and, uh, yeah, it's from you. Um, and we were talking about the idea of, uh, you know, having a game. So it's important when you're developing these positions, the way I always think about it is uh, a lot of people have this mindset where they're like, what's my game, right? They're like trying to build their game. Like it's like, I do butterfly guard, or I'm a spider guard guy or whatever. I think that's a really detrimental way to think about developing your jiu-jitsu. What you should really do is just develop skill sets in separate positions, right? If you get good at the cross guard, just for the sake of understanding the cross guard, that's gonna be like a tool in your arsenal, right? Then you get good at the spider guard. Then you get good at a single leg. Then you get good at half guard. Then you get good at knee shield. You get good at each of these things individually. And then what you'll find is when you're in a match, you know, these things will start connecting. You'll have different weapons, right? Like I might be, you know, going with someone and like, you know, I'm playing my collar sleeve system that I showed you guys, right? So we're here, you know, start shooting in and the guy's just posturing a lot here, right? So then, I don't know, I, I have a hard time finishing on this guy because he's really strong and he postures a lot. So then I cross grip and switch into this game, right? And then I'm trying all this stuff and maybe I can't get that to work, right? Well then boom, like one underneath like an X-Guard game, right? And the more positions you have, the more you're gonna find ways to connect. And when you're fighting someone, you don't know what they're strong at. You may be really, really good with your spider guard, but that guy just happens to train with the best spider guard player in the world in his gym, and then he's really good at fighting spider guards. So then the position that you don't normally play ends up being more useful. So you can't like 
build your game where it's like, this is my game, I do this every single time. It's just you develop separate skill sets and try to forget about whether or not this connects into your game. Keep an open mind and just develop position. I, I know this from experience because I spent so many times in my career where I would be like, oh, I don't do that. And then I ended up doing it at some point. I'm like, wow, this is awesome, it helped me so much. Like the sit-up guard game, like the single leg stuff, a lot of like really uh, like guardy players, you know, who do like a lot, not like, um, some guys have a game where they come up on single legs and stuff, but some guys have a game where they like to do like, you know, submissions and like Baron Bolos, and they never try to come up, right? Like into a single leg. But I was always like very um, apprehensive about playing that kind of game. As soon as I added it in my game, my bar jumped up like two or three times because there's so many new positions that I could play. Okay, 